Hello, this is Kilo Echo Zero Bravo Sierra Juliet. In this next video series, um, it's going to be in three parts. I'm going to show you how easy it is to export your contacts into QRZ um, online logbook as well as EQSL and logbook of the world. This video is going to show you how to um, export and then import into QRZ. Now this video also assumes that you already have a QRZ set up and um, may not be using it, but at least you have it set up so you can import it into um, QRZ. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, um, what first thing we're going to do is come up here to File, and then we're going to Export, or go down here to ADIF Export. Now in here, there's several different options here um, that you can choose from. You want export options, EQSL, all contacts. What that does is, let's say you haven't uploaded anything to EQSL from the logger before, and so you want to export all your contacts. Um, that's the one you would choose. The EQSL recent contacts um, is the same thing, except um, if you once you start log or exporting your contacts then it will mark it um, as sent to EQSL and um, so then every every time you do it then it'll only imp or export um, the ones that has not been sent yet and the same thing with logbook of the world all contacts logbook of the world recent contacts and the same with other and um, all contacts and then other recent now you can use um, one export to do all of them, one export file to do EQSL, um, QRZ, and Logbook of the World, uh, but there is three different fields in a contact that has separate dates so you can keep track of it and I'll show you that right now. So I'm just going to pick one of the, the contacts here and if you click on the QSL verification tab this is where I'm talking about date sent to logbook of the world date sent to EQSL and date sent to other <clears throat> so then that way you know that they have been exported into your other programs that you do use and how that field is changed is if you come in here and you go back to ADF export if you mark it here um, put a check mark there then that F, as soon as it's exported then that will put that date today's date into that field um, so the first thing we're going to do uh, is go we're going to export other and we're going to I've already exported it so if this is the first time you've ever used it or exported go ahead and choose um, other all contacts but since I use it on a regular basis and I'm going to go ahead and choose recent others or recent contacts now the next thing you want to do is make sure this check gets marked and then um, what you're going to do here now is click here and you're going to tell it where to save the file as. Um, I am going to save it to a certain folder that I already have set up. You can save it to wherever you, wherever you want to but I already have a folder set up um, where I'm going to take it to and it is right there and you can also put a name here um, actually it's there you can also type a name here um, what I do is since I'm uploading to QR or other exporting other I have a file called other so I will choose it and then I'll choose save and since our, that file already exists, it's going to ask me if I want to replace it, and I'm going to choose yes. <clears throat> now then, down here on this bottom screen, um, it shows your progress, mappings, and stuff like that. Now, I usually just go in here, and I choose all of them. Um, on, I just choose all of them, make sure all those are checkmarked. And so we've got other recent contacts I've already checked it to make sure that it, um, the records are marked as sent 
and then I've already gave, told it where to save it to. So now all I got to do now is click export. And now it's done. And so now while I'm in this field, I'm going to go ahead and choose um, recent EQSL. And then I'm going to go in here and select my EQSL file. And yes, I want to overwrite it. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this. Since it's all set up here, I might as well just go ahead and do them all at once. And then I'm going to go down here and do that. Now I'm going to close this screen. And then we're going to bring up EQSL. And again, this assumes that you already have an EQSL account set up. It's pretty easy to set one up in case if you don't. And um, I think I donated $25 and then $25 or $30 a year or for a year. Um, and that allows me to design my own QSL card and a few other things. So, um, or yeah, I think, you'd, I think you can use it as use it free and just use their standard um, QSL cards too but I went ahead and made a donation and so I can um, get on the silver plan and um, do my own QSL cards so we need to go ahead and log in and then it takes us to this page um, we'll go to the inbox and then we'll click on upload ADIF and then we scroll down to here and click on browse now you can choose foreground mode um, or you can do background mode um, it's default on background mode so I'm just going to choose foreground because I don't have anywhere close to 500,000 records to upload so I'm going to go ahead and choose it it'll run faster and then I'm going to choose browse and then we're going to browse to wherever I saved the file earlier, which was under Logger, Exports, and then we want the EQSL file that we created earlier. Click on that, double click on that one, and click Upload. And that is it. Um, now all of my up or all my contacts are uploaded in EQSL, and people have cards waiting on them that I've made contacts with. It's pretty simple. Um, the hardest part is getting your um, account set up the first time and, and your QSL card set up and outside of that I mean you've seen how long it took and that's all there is. Thank you for watching and check back on the third part. This is Kilo Echo Zero Bravo Sierra Juliet saying 73's.